And even though this is a growing YouTube channel, I knew no matter what, it was still gonna make an impact for the right people, the people who, when I pray, I say who the people I was called to serve, period. You know, I didn't know I was gonna go this way, or I didn't know it was gonna go deep, but you know that's what we're really here to do. Like God put us on this on this earth. If you're here, it's so that you can genuinely, authentically be yourself. God was a creator. He created us, he created this world, he created the universe. So why not do the same thing? He put us here to do that, to be creators. Ugh. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna and I wanna say thank you. I hit a thousand subscribers and it's because of you. I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful because YouTube has already changed my life, y'all. And I wanna show you the reasons why it has, my goals and why you should get started today. If you are interested in fashion or styling or personal growth and development, this is the channel for you. So make sure if you have not yet subscribed to do so, share, like, you know, send it to somebody that you feel like this could benefit because it's a great channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. And it's because of you that I'm continuing to grow. You're giving me the feedback and I'm implementing it. And it's just, it's been a journey, y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all about how I hit that thousand subscribers, why it's beneficial to have a YouTube channel, the impact that it brings, and how it can help you personally in your life. So let's talk about the reasons I started this YouTube channel, how beneficial it is to have one if you are in fashion, if you are wanting to be a virtual stylist, so you wanted to have an influence or just really not even you don't even have to be interested in fashion i know that this is what this channel is about but i'm telling y'all the benefits of having a youtube channel is amazing here are the reasons one i started this channel because i really wanted to make an impact when i was first starting out as a fashion stylist in the industry i had no idea what i was doing i was looking everywhere i was looking on youtube i was looking on Amazon, I was looking everywhere, just trying to, everywhere on the internet, I was trying to find information. It was really hard. I even started interning and that was trash. I mean, I had some hit or misses, but it was more misses when it came to the interning. And it was just like, I needed to find a resource that had all the information in one, but also was relatable and just somebody that I could vibe with and learn from. So that is why I created this channel because I wanna be able to help those who are trying to start and get their foot in the door. Another is because as I transitioned out of being a celebrity stylist, a brand stylist, a commercial stylist, I really wanted to share the education through books and courses, but also build a business off of just speaking and being able to engage with people. I spoke at schools before and it was great because I was able to actually talk to students about all my experiences. And a lot of times when you go to college, you know, you have a professor that maybe dabbled in it or maybe they just had some education in it in school or something like that but nobody that was actually hands-on in the in the industry working on these jobs and giving you little tips and tricks and even not in that, not necessarily just the business side of thing but the mindset because at the end of the day it's all mindset like really y'all if you out in the mall and you shopping for yourself, I'm not going to say it's the exact same thing, but it's very similar. So sometimes you just need to wrap your head around certain things, but also take away the self-sabotaging thoughts that you may have on all the reasons you can't do it and just do it. Acting in spite of fear. So I love being able to talk about that and help people and share, you know, different thought process tricks that you can get yourself out of feeling stuck so that you can actually move forward towards your goals and your dreams and the things that you really want to do. And I love YouTube because it absolutely allows you to just be yourself. If you think about YouTube and TikTok, yes, they have things where you can grow your social and get brands to partner with you and everything, but YouTube is a platform that has everything in one. Not only can you do brand partnerships, but you can also monetize in so many other ways. Google AdSense where, you know, ads, you see, it's just like TV. If you see a commercial and it pops up, you get revenue from that. But it's also a way to really just get in front of your audience and be yourself. Like I keep saying that, 
but that is the biggest thing like you can be yourself we need people on these platforms who are just genuine who care who want to leave an impact who can make you laugh who can give you something that you a little nugget that you may not have even thought of before so this platform is amazing for that and even when it comes to fashion going back to that you can have affiliate programs or brand partnerships with the brands that you love, clothing brands that you love, makeup brands that you love, digital products that you love, and share that information with your audience. When you share that information with your audience and they make a purchase, you get a commission on that. And so I'll tag my old video where I talked about all the different ways that you can profit as a stylist or fashion influencer um, I'll, I'll leave it somewhere at the top, but that is a great way to profit. So just, I mean, if you love playing around in clothes or if you love styling people or if you love accessorizing home decor, share that. Some people really just love being able to see how you decorate. I will sit and watch a Netflix TV series on homes just to get ideas and inspiration for my home. Like. I'll do that not only on YouTube or on Netflix or on Hulu, but also on my phone on Instagram. And this platform is a way where if you share that information, you can make a profit off of it as well. The biggest reason why it's amazing is because you may not realize it, but it's actually really building your confidence. Having a platform where you can creatively, authentically be yourself get in front of a camera, speak. Speaking is one of the biggest ways that you can grow in personal development, that you can practice speaking in front of the camera or speaking in front of an audience if that's what you want to do, but also just building confidence in creating, having a creative outlet. Y'all, I love doing this. When I tell you I love doing this, I love creating content. I love speaking. I love engaging. I love talking to you guys and you guys giving me feedback. I love laughing with you guys. I love playing with my dog and you guys just seeing my everyday life. Like I love this. I really do. I genuinely love it. And the more and more you do it, the better and better you're creating a skill that you can use in so many different ways. That's a whole nother video in itself. But just imagine creating content, shooting content through a camera or your phone, editing content, which is one of the ways that you can make so much money because a lot of people don't know how to do it. But mastering a skill that you can use creatively outside of the norm is going to be so essential for you in so many ways, not just your business, but also being able to help other people do the same. So building your confidence in that way, but personally building your confidence because it, I don't even know how to explain what it does and feels like, but it genuinely builds your confidence. Like being able to voice and express yourself to your audience and put yourself out there. Sometimes it's hard for people to get in front of other people or it's hard for people to express themselves or it's hard for people to just be. And this will allow you to open yourself up. Like, I feel like if you were scared to get in front of the camera and then you started doing it consistently, when you go out into the world, just imagine how confident you'll be being able to just talk to people and just share different things with people. You never know who's watching and you never know who you can help. People can see you, people can relate, people want to relate. And this platform allows you to do that in long form and short form. And then it pays you to be yourself. Well, how did I hit the thousand subscribers? It was a journey, it was. I remember when I first started YouTube, I just got on it. Like I was just posting some of the commercials that I did. So I did a Vino commercial for an award show. And then I did a commercial with Tory Lanez actually for Spotify for an album and a, a couple other commercials that I've done. I just started uploading them. Like I didn't even have a caption. I didn't have anything. I was just uploading videos. So I started uploading some of the commercials that I did, but I didn't really feel like it tied into the brand that I wanted it to turn into on here, which was essentially what it is now, which is just a personal channel also showing you my experiences and things that I've learned throughout my career as a stylist. And then I started posting, oh, so during the pandemic, 
that's when I launched my course, which was how to become a fashion stylist, which is now in a starter kit because there were so many people who just really wanted to know how to start and how to get their foot in the door. And it's kind of like a little black book that you have in your hand. You can keep it wherever you go and just tap into it when you need information for your business. So it's the stylist starter kit. During the pandemic, I started creating different series, just interviewing some of my celebrity clients and also a panel discussion that I hosted with a bunch of other stylists. But it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. Like I wasn't ready to just jump into the camera like this. I don't even know why because I was even speaking at schools at that point, especially during the pandemic. But I started just uploading the videos that I shot. Um, they were like live videos that I shot on Zoom with some of my clients and also other celebrities so that I could just, I was trying to get my footing in learning how to create videos in this way, which is weird because I was already creating videos um, for my course. Like I had already filmed and uploaded all my course material, but I don't know why, but sometimes it just feels a bit different when you're doing it in this way and you're consistently uploading. I started uploading different videos that I had already shot mini series but they weren't like this and that was about a year ago then i started uploading actual one-on-one -on -one coaching videos like i'm filming right now and that was 10 months ago so wow i actually hit a thousand in less than a year that's amazing i'm proud of myself for that one thing I will say is I started posting every week. Like I made sure no matter what, I started posting videos and I was just sharing things from my experience, but also, you know, when I talk, I'm talking from my heart. I'm talking from being able to help you overcome certain things that I had to overcome myself because I had no idea. So this platform allowed me to do that and I posted consistently. I had a schedule that I made for myself and I used this platform called Notion that I talk about um, when it was, I had another video where I was talking about how to plan and set goals, but I used my Notion calendar and while I was doing that, y'all, I started, it was like, okay, you know what? I'm about to start posting too. I just wanted to master this skill because like I said before, mastering this you have no idea how much it's going to benefit you and your business no matter what it is that you're doing because this is actually one of the best ways to market yourself and your brand and your business so i was consistent i had myself on a schedule i was posting every sunday and every wednesday it burnt me out a little bit because i'm still working i'm still building other things and it got to me, but I was like, you know what? This is bigger than me. So I'm gonna just push through, I'm gonna keep doing it. So that's when I started creating reels. I started following platforms, not necessarily fashion, not even fashion platforms at all, but I started following and reading books on how to grow a YouTube channel because it was so important to me to do. It was like, I knew I wanted to make some type of impact. And even though this is a growing YouTube channel, I knew no matter what, it was still gonna make an impact for the right people, the people who, when I pray, I say who the people I was called to serve, period. So I started following channels that would help me grow. Those channels consisted of Erin On Demand, y'all, watch her. Her content is amazing. I freaking love her. Not only does she do branding and teach you different things on how to grow your brand, but she also shows her personal everyday life as well with her and her husband and her dog. It's just an amazing channel. I recommend that. I was also following a channel called Think Media. Think Media is great. Like it's literally for someone who wants to start a channel and go from zero to a thousand. And then they take you further from there. But I got their book and it was called YouTube Secrets. It's amazing. I recommend it. They have a new version out for everything that's happening right now and how to grow your channel right now, which is amazing. I recommend those two channels. Two other channels that I did follow and watch were Catherine Manning and also Vanessa Lau. Mind you, all these channels are how to either grow a brand or how to grow your YouTube channel. More so all of them are about growing a YouTube channel, not necessarily a brand, but Erin Demand is. Like she'll show you both ways. 
So I started doing that. I started studying, 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 but also implementing. I know a lot of time when we are trying to learn something new, we just want to learn, 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 and we're not taking any action to implement the things that we learn. So I highly recommend if you are wanting to master a skill, learn, 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 but also start taking steps so that you can learn as you go and start to tweak and add little things from maybe a book you read or a YouTube channel that you watch so that you can start implementing those things because that's the best way to learn is actually doing it. So that was what helped me watching those channels and also implementing little things that I learned along the way. I also use a few platforms called CapCut, which I use for editing. I love CapCut. I use it for my Instagram shorts, my reels, and also my long form content that I post on YouTube. So all my long form videos, I use CapCut for that as well. I love it because it has music. It has all these different stickers you can use. It has all the effects and animations that you can use on your, on your videos. It, it just has everything that you need and it's great for a beginner because it's free. And you can learn how to edit on there. And it's, it's just a great platform for a beginner. Now, of course, I know that as I grow, I'm going to invest in other platforms as far as music and also even editing. You know, I love creating content editing, but I know that wanting to grow this channel and being able to grow this channel, I'm going to have to get some help. Like I can't do it all by myself, but I love the fact that when you're building something, it's so important to keep in mind that you want to also learn before you hand it over to someone else. Because you, what, what if you're giving it to them and you don't like it? Or what if you're giving it to them and they're not doing it right? At least you know what's up first before you give it to somebody else. I also used two other platforms. Now one is called VidIQ. Now VidIQ is a great platform because it helps me with my SEO, which is tags and things that people are actually looking for, which another website you can use is called Ask the Public, but it'll give you questions that the public's asking on Google, and vidIQ will give you tags related to what's trending or what's popular, or really just what is in your niche. So for example, now that my YouTube channel is connected to vidIQ, if I post a video or I have an idea of a video for let's say fashion styling and I put that in it'll give me all the searchable tags that people are looking for when they go on YouTube which is great because it's how you guys have been able to find my videos so far and it's how I've been able to connect with my audience because it relates to me it relates to you and we meet together so I love that platform because not only does it help you with your tags it also helps you with giving you ideas on your topics and it also helps you with ideas on other related videos even other thumbnails that you can use and how to create the right thumbnail for the video that you've chosen to create which leads me to the other and that's Canva I love Canva I show you guys how to create mood boards on Canva on this channel and it's a great way to really hone into another skill of creating digital assets, uh, photos, even you can even edit videos on there but I still recommend CapCut because it's not the same at all. But if you were just making something really quick, short, maybe a short or a reel or a thumbnail or I even show you how to make a media kit on Canva. Canva is everything you need. It's a search engine like YouTube and Google for any type of digital asset that you need to create. So Canva has been amazing for me in creating this YouTube channel and I use it in all my businesses as well. All right, so that is how I have been able to grow my YouTube channel to what it is today. Of course, it's continuing to grow. And now I'm going into the goals. I am literally meditating and visualizing myself holding that YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. I am going to achieve that goal. If you know me, I am so determined to hit my goals. It's just a thing for me. Like anything I say I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. And so I feel like I am going to manifest that. And I know that it's all a journey. And I'm so grateful to be in a place where I can just experience and be present in everything that I'm learning and continue to grow. So even though I feel like it's a slow burn or it's, you know, growing and learning, I'm so grateful right now because 
one, I can create any type of content that I want and I'm able to master these skills. I'm able to master talking in front of the camera for speaking engagements, which is one of my goals to continue to be able to do that. Brand partnerships is also helping with that. Learning how to use these different platforms to pull affiliate links like Amazon and LTK. It's learning how to edit my videos and mastering those skills. This time right now, as it's growing, as I'm learning, I feel like it's amazing because I am tapping into mastering skills that are going to make me so much better. Being able to use these skills are going to help me in the long term in so many different ways. And I know that execution is going to be so beneficial for me. Um, another one of my goals is also just really being able to help those people who are aspiring to be fashion stylists, who are aspiring to get their foot in the door. Maybe you want to be a virtual stylist, a personal stylist, commercial stylist, brand stylist, celebrity stylist. Just being able to help you understand the, the industry, understand your mindset in order to get into the industry or just starting your own personal brand. Like I would love to be able to grow this channel so that I can actually impact and be of service to those people who are really wanting to learn how to do that. I know that I can do that because I've already helped so many people already and this platform just allows me to connect and get in front of the people that I'm called to serve. Another one of my goals is just to be able to work one-on-one -on -one with people, coaching, and you know, even if it's not just styling, just working with people one-on-one -on -one with achieving their goals, life goals, you know, brand goals, whatever it may be from my experiences as a CEO running a skincare line, um, working as a stylist, even working as a stylist for New York Fashion Week and all these major brands like Under Armour, Sony and Pizza Hut, Vino, like I said before, while working other jobs, like having the right mindset of consistency and being able to overcome certain hurdles that you may have and didn't even realize that you had, just talking through things. Sometimes you just need someone who's been where you've been, where you can sit down and have a conversation and understand that you're not alone, that there's so many opportunities out here for you, but sometimes it's just us in our own way. And that's okay because this channel, I really feel is going to be able to help people overcome that. And that is one of the hugest reasons why I've created this channel and what my goal will continue to be. Um, I also have a goal to be able to eventually get to the point where I can make two or three videos a week, which means my goal is to be able to authentically, genuinely be myself creating content full time. There are so many different ways that you can benefit, not just from creating an impact, but also being able to, you know, financially support your family on this platform, being a content creator full time. A helicopter just went by or a plane or something. Being able to financially support your family and just live creating, doing what you love, being creatively who you are. You know, I didn't know I was going to go this way. I didn't know it was going to go deep, but you know, that's what we're really here to do. Like God put us on this, on this earth. If you're here, it's so that you can genuinely, authentically be yourself. God was a creator. He created us. He created this world. He created the universe. So why not do the same thing? He put us here to do that, to be creators. Really, that's what it is. Like being creative, being, being more and more like who he's called you to be. So if anything you guys learned from this video, I really hope that it is just to be consistent to learn and grow and be the best version of yourself, to start a YouTube channel because it's going to be so beneficial for you, your brand, your business, whatever it is that you may be trying to do, achieve, whatever your dreams may be, I would highly suggest that you start a YouTube channel. If you have any questions or if you wanna just connect, leave me a comment, reach out to me. I see you guys when you send me Instagram messages as well as messages on here. I see them, I thank you, I appreciate them. I'm always making sure that I comment back because 
like I said, I love this. <laughs> so I see you and I'm so grateful and appreciative. Thank you so much for helping me hit a thousand. Like my book here, Becoming a Stylist. Thank you so much guys for purchasing my book and all the feedback that you've given me. It's talking about my journey as a fashion stylist, all the different jobs that are available to you as a stylist, how you can get your foot in the door. I promise that I'm here to help you and i'm going to be doing this y'all like i genuinely love this and thank you so so much thank you thank you so much like for real i'm so grateful i hope to see you guys in my next video bye